Hi, this is Liz. I'm a certified repair technician, and today we're discussing how to fix blue screen error, page fault, and non-page area. Check first for hardware problems, and then second for software problems, because this particular issue can be either or. So if you find this video in any way helpful, please like and share. First thing I would do it, it, for troubleshooting method is I would remove any sort of hardware I may have added. If you've added RAM or a hard drive, solid state drive, try removing them from the computer, see if it remedies. Now the next thing to try Get into your laptop, open it up. Uh, you might need to get a disassembly video for your specific model. And we're going to try a big common cause for this problem is that your connections on either your RAM or your hard drive are no longer good. So get to your RAM or hard drive, get inside your, and you're gonna make sure it's nice and snug your RAM. As you can see, I'm really pushing it in there, but not too hard. And also just as a side note, my battery and my power cord are unplugged, so. And I'm just doing what's called reseating it, which just means taking it out and putting it back in because sometimes your RAM or your hard drive can come a little loose or maybe there's some dirt in the connection uh, and you just need to pull it out and push it back in. So it's really that simple. So that's what we're going to do with the hard drive as well. It would be the same thing if you have a solid state drive. So I'm just going to pull it out. Usually easier than this. It's giving me a little bit of trouble. There we go. And now I'm just going to reseat it or plug it back in. Now, once I've done this, I'm going to put the screws back and I'm going to see if that fixes the problem. Because like I said, uh, it, it's very common to just be a connection issue for this. And if for any reason this doesn't work, we'll proceed on to the next step in the troubleshooting method because we're troubleshooting this the HP way. So might take a couple different steps, but we'll get there. Put all my screws back on my hard drive. And then I'm going to go ahead and try turning back on my machine. If I still get that nasty blue screen error, well, then we're gonna move on to the next step. If you don't get it, well, then you know that was the issue. But the next step is sometimes your RAM goes bad. So the solution for this is we're gonna take out one RAM stick at a time Try turning back on your computer. And if you still get the blue screen error, not a big deal. We're gonna try the other RAM stick because RAM is kind of like headlights on your car. One tends to go bad, and but not necessarily the other one. So we're gonna try seeing if one of these, taking out one of these RAM sticks uh, resolves the issue. If you do find that you take out one of the RAM sticks, you go ahead and turn your computer back on and then bam, the blue screen error is gone. Then you know that you had a bad RAM stick in. Whichever one was taken out is the one that's causing the problem. So this is what a RAM stick looks like. So if you find you take it out, the issue is resolved. You're gonna need to look for this number, PC42400T, or something close to this sounding. And then you need to replace that RAM stick. Okay, so you tried all these things. It didn't work, Liz. That's okay, we're gonna try some more troubleshooting methods. Next, we're gonna try to hit power and hold down F9 because we're going to work on the software solutions now. And we're going to keep tapping on F9 until we enter the recovery manager, which is a nice feature of your computer. Because, I'm, like I said, it can be a software or a hardware issue. So we tried the RAM. It wasn't the RAM. And now we're going to try a, uh, a software approach by factory resetting. Which I know is sad. You lose your data, but trying to save a computer here and this is honestly one of the, the next steps. So once you get to this screen, hit troubleshoot, reset this PC. We're gonna do the remove everything. You could try the keep my files option. It does occasionally work. So you gotta always try that first. Uh, but if it doesn't work, remove everything is really the, the more likely fix. So now that we're gonna reach this screen, it's gonna ask you again to make sure that you really wanna delete everything. Now, as a shout out, if you try fully cleaning the drive, that's what we're gonna hit. And it just won't do it, or it continues not to work, like say it crashes halfway through the reset, or you find that it still has a blue screen error, it might be that you just need a fresh install of Windows. Unfortunately, sometimes the operating system gets to the point where it's so corrupt, it just needs a fresh install. We have a video down below, that shows you how to do that, install a hard drive and do the fresh in install. You can skip the portion on hard drive installation. Now, finally, if all these things don't work, like resetting or installing a fresh operating system, uh, you try both and it just doesn't work, it could be, we saved as the last thing, it could be that your hard drive is dying. 
Uh, and by the process of elimination, we figured out that that's the last option. You might want to try installing a new one. I know not what you want to hear, um, but one thing is whenever you are replacing these kind of components, you could view it as an opportunity to upgrade to a uh, solid state drive or a larger hard drive. But anyway, that would be the last step in the troubleshooting method. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos or you're an egghead like us, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and one of our certified repair technicians will get back to you. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.